Welcome back. We're still tied 88 apiece here in Maui. The championship game 125 to go. Well, they tried to double team Damon Stoudemire in this great look away and the strip by Rhodes, but just the pressure of the bounce. It ends up positive for Lute Olsen and their Wildcats as Joseph Blair who's expended a lot of energy in a very difficult arena in terms of heat. As you can see, Kentucky has taken their final timeout. Arizona still has two. Team fouls. Kentucky is 10 on them. Arizona has still put Kentucky into the one and one, but not into the double bonus yet. The possession arrow goes to Arizona. Sports Center coming up next with Dan Patrick and Gary Miller. Possible record setting nights for the Mavs and the Rockets. And big deals apparently for Troy Aikman of the Cowboys and Lenny Dykstra of the Phillies. You'll find out after this one is done. As Brasso got, got knocked shot. in the nose. It's going to be hard to play with one hand on his nose. He's looking at the official for some help. They're down to eight. They got to get something going. Nice ride out by Joseph Blair. Ford lets it go. Carries it. 25 for Travis Ford. And I like to let Reeves penetrate, and he tries to end up with the jumper. Shot. He's fouled though. Great presentation though. Nothing easy. Jamel looking for the jump ball with some personality, and I can't blame him. I mean, there is contact, but who initiates, right? Knowing, flying in there. Sure, knowing the play was coming, they were ready for it too. Right, right. You know, the clock stopping down the stretch almost gives you a timeout. So Patino with that last timeout wanting a certain play, didn't actually get what he wanted, but creativity off the bounce and the pick for Ford got them a basket. Reeves with 23 points in this half, 28 on the night. Well, he's been shooting all his life to stay in the game all day. You know, in the schoolyard, well, this is a to stay alive and not sit out for a few hours. It's a one-point lead for Kentucky. 40 seconds remaining. Trying to get the ball back to Ford's hand. I, they may end up forcing him to give it up. Somebody else going to have to step up and make a play. Roderick Rhodes. Shot clock at 15. Now Reeves is gambling. Huh? Uh, now he takes him out of the play. Back up to Brasso. Rhodes going to try and create one. A little strong. It comes to all oh, a big collision. I was saying it didn't hit the rim. Now they correct it. I mean, we've got an injured player as well. That's the end of the play where the contact occurs. Corey Williams and Jeff Brasso just hammered into each other. And now, Williams is down. Trying to make sure he doesn't move until he is sound. The key is, I thought the ball hit the rim. I thought it did yeah, too. That's and, why I was surprised when and, I saw. Well, I think the officials concurred and are now giving the ball back to Kentucky. Corey Williams being attended to, but oh, good. He's up. It may you not. know what? It may not have hit the rim. They, the officials want to see our replay. Ted Valentine now over here at the desk. Can we get a replay? Uh, John Saunders, this is an unusual situation as we're going to try and cue it up just to be sure Ted Valentine wants to take a look. Play it back again, please, if we could. Ted Valentine wants another look at it. The question is, did the basketball hit the rim? And if it did not, if it did not hit the rim, then it was a violation of the shot clock. It's a... All right, Ted Valentine not permitted to do this 
by rule but wants to be sure because of the importance of the situation and it, it it did not hit the rim as you could clearly see it is a shot clock violation Ted Valentine signals and the basketball will go over to Arizona and a first right here with an official using instant replay well the question is they can use replay for a correctable error but time timing right. malfunction I realize I understand that this is not one no, of those no, it situations doesn't, doesn't that's the point I'm trying to make fall under the rule nevertheless I like getting it correct though I, I agree I love replay instant replay we have it Ted Valentine decided to use it. Ted Valentine has it. I mean, that showed a lot of guts. Oh, they got a ride out. By Roderick. Rick Patino can't believe it. Khalid Reeves is going to go to the line with 5.5 seconds left in the game. Arizona down by one. The important thing now, the ride out, this is one that maybe they could play on. He didn't lose the dribble. There was contact. However, the importance of pushing the ball up the floor. No timeouts for Patino. Depending on what happens here, the speed dealt coming in the floor, Ford. And what's very important here, Bill, is we're into the double bonus now. Uh -huh. So it's no longer a one and one. Reeves gets two shots right. no matter what. They have been for a couple of trips. Yes. So it's a situation that the key now, without the timeout, is who gets the inbounds pass. So you might look for a little more pressure by Stoudemire, Geary, and Reeves on the inbounds. Kids got it down. Forget about it. Don't play winners out with him. You want him shooting when they're picking the team. Game's tied at 91. Reeves with a chance to give them the lead. You can bet Lute Olsen will likely call a timeout if he makes this. Does not decide to let Kentucky bring it up. Rhodes for three. Doesn't get a tip. Russell! Russell! Comes up big!